Hello everybody, this is like the most random stream ever, like I haven't announced it or shared it anywhere because I've just decided to do it completely on impulse, so why the heck not? Um, I'd like to apologise for the random stream that happened the other day, um, that was like about 90 seconds of just nothing. And for some reason it said it were, it had the same title as the birthday stream I did for my friend, but it wasn't the birthday stream. I was trying to do an OBS test, which clearly didn't work. So, um, yeah, that happened, I guess. But anyway, it is... It is September 18th, 7.30 my time. Nice, pleasant 14 degrees, clear sky day. Uh, but that's not important right now. What's important is I'm going to be studying some languages. I'm actually learning seven languages at the moment. Um, so I'm learning Polish, German, Spanish, Japanese, French, Italian, and Swedish. And that's not usually the order I do it in. I usually learn like one different language a day. I learn Polish on Mondays. Um, I do Spanish on Tuesdays, German on Wednesdays. Uh, um, Swedish on Thursdays, French on Fridays, Italian on Saturdays, and Japanese on Sundays. Um, but I've been learning for, well, not drastically long, but I've been learning for a few weeks now, and before my free, uh, trial, yeah, before my free trial for Duolingo Plus runs out, I would like to test my knowledge in all of these subjects so sure why not uh, right so I'm just gonna go in order that I I learn the languages in a week so we'll start with Polish translate the sentence I am a girl jestem dziewczonka I don't know why I said chonka I think I'm thinking of chonky cats right now but <laughs> it's all good I like this juice and that bread would be, uh, would be, um, can't remember what gender juice and bread are. I have a 50-50 chance of getting this right. I'm pretty sure juice is masculine. Lubię. Yeah, ten sok. Sok. E. Uh, actually, no, I have a one in three chance of getting this right. I can't remember what gender bread is. <laughs> it was Tampton. Of course, bread is neutral because of, of course it is. I was close. I was close. It's It's good. Uh, a woman eats the apple. Kobieta ye jabłko. Ye jabłko. Sorry, I didn't give the man a chance to. Ja jestem mężczyzną. Ty jesteś kobietą. What? Ja jestem mężczyzną. Ty jesteś kobietą. Okay, so that's I am a man and you are a woman. Ja jestem. See, this is annoying because my phone has memorized both the correct and the incorrect spellings. Um, but it is that one. Uh, but because it's I am, um, it has the funny ear on the end. It was te? Was it te? Ja jestem mężczyzną. Ty jesteś kobietą. I'm sure that's what it said. Oh, come on. What? Okay, I just misheard phonemes, that's all. I only got like two words wrong. Jestem dziewczynką. Jem zupę. Okay, that one's easy. Jem zupę. That means I'm eating soup. A lion is not a tiger. 
See, one thing I like about Polish is that you don't really have to use um, articles like at and the. You can just say lion is not tiger and it, it is perfectly fine. Uh, yes. Oh, I got Nien yes the wrong way around. I'm not doing great right now, am I? <laughs> I got the first few words of that. Men, I heard men and women. It's something to do with fruit because I heard a vodka, so I'm going to replay it slowly. Mężczyźni i kobiety jedzą owoce. Ah, jedzą. So men and women eat fruit. Mężczyźni i kobiety jedzą owoce. Yay! <laughs> this is a tasty fish. Do? To jest, jest smaczna ryba. To zwierzę jest tygrysem. I think that's... I heard the main important words and I think that said this animal is a tiger. I heard this animal and tiger. But what if it said this animal is not a tiger? To zwierzę jest tygrysem. Okay, no, it said it is a tigrisum, so... It said to, right? To zwierzę jest tygrysem. Yes. To zwierzę... Jest tygrysem. Nie, nie. I think I'm missing an accent from zwierzę? No, I'm not. Okay, good. People like fish. See, this is not a weird thing, like... You don't necessarily have to say like a fo if you if you say like I don't know if it works for all verbs, but you don't necessarily have to like say the pronoun either because as long as you use the conjugated verb, then it's understandable what you're talking about. If that makes sense. So like, um, Ludzie. I mean, I couldn't remember. Off the top of my head, how to like is conjugated in Polish, but I know that it's that because it's a ca it's capitalized, so that's obviously the beginning of the sentence, so that helps. So people like, which you could just say as like as long as it's in the like third person plural form, so which is ludzie, or however it's said. Ludzie. Yeah, ludzie. Rudebe, which is plural for fish. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh wait, Lidji must just mean people. Oh well, I'm just stupid then, aren't I? I mean, my point still stands. My previous point still stands. You can still do that, but this wasn't an example of that. I thought it was, but um, no, uh. To like is not Lydia, it's, it's, it's like, well, I, I don't know how it's, I don't know what the, uh, what's it called, the standard, I can't remember what it's called, but when a verb is just, when you get a verb in, in it as its dictionary form, like, to walk, or to talk, or to like, I can't remember what that form of verb is called, but, um, I can't remember that form of like in Polish but obviously the third person plural version of it is lubia so I'll have to remember that if that made no sense to anybody don't worry about it I'm just I'm I studied I've studied languages for a while not necessarily like like not necessarily modern well I have learned modern foreign languages for a while but Polish I'm still relatively new to, 
but I studied English language and other languages and all that kind of good stuff so I, I know like how stuff works I'm just not good at explaining it so if I've confused anybody I'm sorry ignore my rambling just yeah I know I know what I mean to mean so. okay so it's this man this woman this child so ten whoops it's so annoying that it's memorized my mistypes. See, the one with the three Zs in the middle, that's not cor a correct form of it at all. So, it's... Yeah, this man, this woman, this... Uh, hold on, no, that's not child, is it? Ten mężczyzna. I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Oh no, I didn't actually. I'm amazed. I am actually amazed I didn't spell that wrong. Small boy, small girl. So. Małe. Chłopcy. That word I can't pronounce. And. Maui. Mali. Uh, sorry, Mali. It doesn't have the accent on the L, so it's just Mali. Chifchanki. I have typos in my answer, apparently. Oh, I got this. I got the smalls the wrong way around, but it it accepted it. So. Whoa, hold on. I was talking over you. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to slow that down because all I got was Yishtim. Jesteście mężczyznami. Wasn't even that. Sorry, what? Jesteście mężczyznami. See, my brain is not processing the audio of the first half. It's not processing it as words. Like, I have that issue in English as well. I'm autistic, so I have certain issues with processing words and sounds um but i will get this i just might have to replay it a few times jesteście mężczyznami jesteście mężczyznami i'm just going to put a random thing i'm just going to cuz i want to know what it's saying Oh, yes, that's the Mishtiznami. Okay. You are men. Okay. That's Ludzie lubią ryby. Ludzie lubią ryby. Ludzie lubią ryby. Okay, so that's just a sentence that I got wrong before. I have been redeemed. The girl wears dresses. So, Jif. See, neither of those are wrong spellings. It's memorized them fairly simply. Just the one with the accented ear. That's more like that's when it's not the when the girl's not the direct object. I think. I'm still, like, in the very early processes of learning, but I think that's what that is. <laughs> I've had to type, the girl eats an apple so many times, it's memorized it. <laughs> but, um, no, uh, Trifjanka, I can't remember what wear is, or dresses. I'm just gonna type, the girl's eating an apple, even though I know it's wrong. No, I I haven't learned those words, though. How dare you? To śniadanie jest dobre. That being said, this is a progress test, so it's just seeing what level I'm at. To śniadanie jest dobre. This breakfast is good. Śniadanie jest dobre. Yay! Old people do not hear well. Neither do I, so that's relatable. Starzy. Starzy. Ah, oh, what's old people again? I'm sure it's that. Słyszymy. 
Or is it that? Swishong. No, I'm sure that's singular and that's plural. Swishong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna guess Konya is here because I don't know what here is and I know all those words except for that Dobrze. one. Oh. Oh, I know, yeah, Luigi is people. I need to remember that. Why do I keep forgetting Luigi means people? I guess a shilizumi. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. That's just another form of, of here. That's just a different conjugation of here. To hear. Okay. Ludzie mają zwierzęta. And Luigi, I got that. I need to remember Luigi is people. Luigi is people. Speaking of people, is there actually any comments right now? Oh! Hello! Hello, great Waluigi! Yes, yes, you have arrived. Fingers. People like fish fingers. Uh, I do. Uh, adverb, I think that's what it's called in the dictionary. Also, it's okay, lyrical. Um, no, I know what you're talking about. It's not an adverb, because an adverb is... Um, an adverb is just a way of saying how a verb is done. So any modification of a verb, like... Basically, think of it as an adjective to describe a verb. So it's it's like... It's to tell people how you're doing a certain thing. So basically, your words end in L-Y, like slowly, quickly, happily, like, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about, though. It's, it's not that, though. It's, um, it'll come to me at the most random time, but maybe it's called the form verb? No, that doesn't sound right. All right. Root verb? Copula verb? No, copula, the copula verb is just to be. Uh, that is specifically what a copula verb is. Hold on. I'm going to actually look this up. Because it's going to, like, bug me. What is the name of the standard form? Of a verb. <laughs> the past and past participle verb form for is root. No. Oh! Okay, what are the forms of a verb? Gonna learn some English. Okay, the root form is the base of the word. Okay. Yeah, I knew that already. This isn't what I wanted. I know what this is talking about, but this isn't what I wanted. Hmm. Okay. Good thing my quiz isn't timing me. <laughs> Standard form of a verb. What is the dictionary version of a verb called? That's typeboard. No. He's just coming up with the verb call. I don't want that. Dictionary version of a verb. Hmm.
interesting. That did not help. That was just stuff I knew already. <laughs> Verb space. What is this going to tell me? I must know the answer. <laughs> Reflexive verb. Copula. Content more word. Metaphon class. Okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll look into it later because it'll just, I don't want to, I don't want to waste the stream time on. I also, I need to put my phone on charge. I should have made sure it was charged before I uh, started streaming, but it was just completely spontaneous. So here we are. Here we are in the future. Anyway, what was the sentence? Ludzie mają zwierzęta. What? Ludzie mają zwierzęta. Right. How was that formed? Ludzie mają zwierzęta. Zwierzęta? Like that? Ludzie mają zwierzęta. Yay! I've I've never seen that I've never seen or heard that form of animals before. I knew what the sentence meant. I just haven't heard animals said like that. Słyszysz tego konia? But it's just more grammar shit as always. Słyszysz tego konia? What? Słyszysz tego konia? What? Słyszysz tego konia? I have no idea what that word is. That just was sounds. I've never heard that word before. Słyszysz tego konia? I I know what the last word is, but what is that first word? Słyszysz tego konia? Maybe słyszysz. Maybe like that. Oh, okay. Well, that's just stupid. Okay, apparently a conny is a horse. Swish. Oh, okay. Słyszysz tego konia? Do you hear this horse? Right. Ooh, okay, so... I got 1.2 out of 5. Not bad. I don't think. Um, I'm guessing it just works the same as GPA in America. Okay, well, I'm just going to set my phone down for a sec because I need a drink. So please bear with me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, I'm back. What's the chat saying, if anything? Uh, nothing new. All right, so I got 1.2 McRibbon McBlue in Polish, so that's pretty good. All right, let's do a Spanish test now. Uh, go to plus. And we'll do... um. I, I have done a progress quiz in Spanish before. I only got 0 0.6. But let's see if we can improve it. Alright. Um, what? I clicked start quiz. Okay, that was weird. Alright. They go to work at 8.30. Oh, God. What? 
I've never learned those words. Well, Aeos is obviously they. Aegis. They go to work. What would go be? What would, what would be the most likely word to be go? Trabajo? Trabajo. Trabajo? Um, I mean, ocho is eight. Trabajo. Mm, mm, uh, med yeah. Media. Uh, what? Why is it started off like with shit I've never learned? Eos trabajo. That's probably not even right, but. No, that's and, isn't it? Or is it? Media. Media. A. Las. Ocho. I have van. no idea. That's going to be so wrong. Oh, yeah. Ellos van al trabajo a las ocho y media. I would never have got that because the, I've not learned any of the... The only words I knew was they and it. Literally. So I'm guessing trabajo is work. And media is like... Oh, right. Hold on. Media must mean middle, right? Ocho y media like it, but in the middle of it. Maybe that's what that means. Maybe. I'm sorry I'm, like, messing up these languages. How many bosses does this business have? What? Okay, so... Cuantos. Cuantos. Jefes. Jefes. It sound. It has vague resemblance to the word chiefs. Or chiefs, or chief. Um, what if it's Tienda? Is I thought that was store. Is that Tienda? Tienda. Tiene. Es este ne negocio. How did it? What? How did I get that right? What? What? That was pure, like, educated guesses. Holy crap. Quantos jefes tiene este? Because I know quantos is like what quantity. Jefes resembles the word, like, chief, I guess. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Tiena, I'm sure I've heard that used before so i was just like that probably means have esther means this and i knew senoras means women so i was like oh it can't be that still that that's amazing i didn't think i'd get that i'm so proud of myself pedro always needs large pants pedro you are you are a soul brother to me because that's so related <laughs> so obviously it starts with pedro um, okay, pantalons, I guess, means pants. Grandes means big. I think it's siempre that means always. Necesita means need. Don't know what Uro has means. Pedro necesita. Necesita. Okay, but does always come first? I mean, probably. Siempre. Necesita. Grandes. Wait, no, 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 no. I just remembered. Um, Spanish works like French with adjectives. The, adject the adjectives come after the noun. So instead of saying big pants like us, they say pants big. So pantalones grandes. Grandes. I know that four of those five words are definitely correct. I can't remember if siempre means need, and if it does, I can't remember if it goes in that position. Yes! Victorious! 
Pedro siempre necesita pantalones grandes. Uh, I can speak fluent Spanish now, everybody. Congrats. I need to speak Spanish. Okay, that's pretty... That's pretty simple. Necesito Neces hablar, hablar español. Español. I would like the French fries, please. Quisiera? Quisiera. Quisiera. Yeah, quisiera. Means I would like... Uh, patatas must mean potatoes. Paga and pagar means to pay. Por favor means please and last means the, so it must be fritas. Fritas. Wait, hold on. The french fries, please. I would like the yes. french fritas. fries, please. Favor. What? Oh, they say potato fries. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's not stupid. It makes sense, but... I don't know. What does fritas even mean? Like, I thought that would just be fries on its own. Like, why was it not enough? <laughs> why? I feel, like, de so deceived right now. Fritas. Oh, okay. No, I haven't been deceived. They literally, it's just saying potatoes fried because fries are fried. Potatoes. Okay. I didn't know fritas was an adjective. I thought it was a noun. That was my bad. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, so that, that was just simply down to me assuming that an adjective was a noun. <laughs> I wasn't too far off though, that was pretty close. I only needed to put patatas in between las and fritas, that's all I needed to do. I think Carmen is very pretty. Well, I think I guess it's Creo because it's capital letter. Creo. Creo Carmen. Carmen. Es. Es. Muy bonita. Muy bonita. Excuse me, what? Creo que okay, Carmen. Why? Why does it need K? K coño. <laughs> I know if if you don't know what that means, you don't want to. <laughs> it's not even that bad, to be honest. But uh, creo que okay, Carmen es muy bonita. See, I'm all, I'm just missing like little words out. I guess it must mean I think that Carmen. Is very pretty because that's how you would properly say it. You just don't need to always say that. Like, I think that. It's like, creo okay, que was probably the equivalent of German ich denke das rather than just ich denke. So I probably just said, I think Carmen is very pretty rather than I think that Carmen is very pretty. But that's not my fault. I didn't know Spanish did that. <laughs> Las mujeres están en el hotel. I didn't hear all of that, but I'm pretty sure I can figure out what that means because I heard the women and hotel. I'm going to repeat it, though. Las mujeres están en el hotel. I think that said the women are in the hotel. Las mujeres. I'm going to slow it down. Las mujeres. Están en el hotel. Okay, yeah. That's... All right, good. That's pretty straightforward stuff. Las mujeres están en el hotel. Because I know that esta means... Is like a form of to be. But I didn't... I haven't heard esta yet until now. But that's just, again... Because I haven't fully conjugated that verb yet. I have not fully conjugated the copula verb that is to be in Spanish. Oh, uh, yes, fancy language stuff. Uh, forget everything I said. <laughs> she reads a book every day. Okay, I could probably guess what that is. Ella. Ella. It's either going to be le or libro. I'm pretty sure libro is read in the first person singular, which is I. So I'm pretty sure it would be your libro, as in I read. And ella lee, or ella lee, which 
she reads. Le. I think. Okay, so she reads. Un. Un. It's either going to be vamos todos or the uh, or mirar. Uh, you know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to Google the word book in Spanish. I'm sorry. This is the only time I will cheat. I promise. Um, a book. Un libro. Oh, okay. So libro is book. So. Wait, so what is to... Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now. To read in the first person singular is Leo. It's yo Leo. Yo Leo to something. Ale. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yo Leo. I read. Yay. Alright, so yeah, that okay, that's the only time I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ale on libro. Libro. Every day. What's every? Okay, sorry, this will be the last time I I promise. Every. Kata. Every day. There is no kata. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, I have been schmeckled off. Ale on libro. Um, it's either going to be vamos todos a mirar. What would be the most likely to be every? Maybe todos. No. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go for that. Ah, one word again. I missed out the loss. Okay, but my train of thought was very good. I was, I was onto something. Now I was, re I was right there. Okay, Pedro and I eat sandwiches at the beach. Uh, Pedro, Pedro, e, e. yeah. I thought, I thought e was and. Yo. Yo. Pedro y yo eat is comemos, comemos. because come, yo, com, yo como is I eat and Pedro come is Pedro eats. So Pedro y yo comemos, we eat sandwiches San at en the beach. Playa. Yay! Oh, uh, yeah? Good to know. <laughs> anyway. I'm streaming. Pe yes, Pedro y yo comemos sandwiches en la playa. Yo creo que estos libros son muy interesantes. Okay, before I decipher that, uh, I didn't actually know that playa meant beach. It was just the only word that was left, so... Right, what did you just say to me? Yo creo que estos... Libros son muy interesantes. Oh, whoops, typo. I, I, the only word I'm not sure on is that. Because it sounded like son, as in like, the French word, which concerns me because this isn't French, this is Spanish. Because see, zont in French is spelled like that. Yo uh -huh. creo yeah. que yeah. estos libros son muy interesantes. I'm hoping I've spelled it right. Yes! Ah, oh, I actually just punched my knee in victory. Ow, I'm sorry, right knee. Yo creo que estos libros son muy interesantes. Okay, good. We just got this sentence. Yay! Yo creo que... 
estos libros son muy interesantes. Okay, so son must just mean are, which I guess where zont means are in French, so I don't know why I was too concerned. Um, I guess just because I was like, I'm just going to spell it like I hear, and I was worried that that was going to be wrong, but I was right. Um, so I, I guess, yeah, I think that these books are very interesting. Okay, good. The rice with chicken is a favourite dish here. Okay. El. I think rice is arroz. Arroz. Con is Con. with. Yes. I'm going to go and get you some food. Thank you. What are we having? I'm going to get you some kebab mac and chips. Yay. Right, we won't be long. Okay, thank you. Gracias, madre. Uh... That was, thank you, mother, in Spanish, because my mother is going to get me food. <laughs> Which is funny, because we're learning about food right now. So I'm pretty sure Aros is rice. Con is with pollo. Pollo. Would make sense as chicken, because it reminds me of the word poultry. Es. es. Un mm. dish favorite. So plato. Plat favorito. favorito aquí. aquí. Yeah. Hay una nevera nueva en la cocina. What? Slow down. Hay una nevera nueva. Hold on, let me start again. Hay una nevera nueva en la cocina. Okay, I just typed what I heard, but I know that's not going to be right, so I'm, I just... Typed it as fast as I could, along with the speaker. Hay una nevera nueva en la cocina. So is it novera? Nevera? Hay una mm -hmm. nevera nueva. It sounds like an e to en me. la cocina. cocina. And then fast. Hay una nevera nueva en la cocina. Oh, come on. Okay, so I literally just spelled hi and cocina wrong. There is a new fridge in the kitchen. Yeah, I forgot that... I forgot that it's not pronounced... Uh, that that word... It's pronounced as hi and not here. So, because I was just hearing I, uh, because the H is silent, I was just like, I? I'll just type it as a sound, which is why I was pretty sure it was going to be wrong, and it was, but... Again, we're learning. I'm, I'm still getting most of the sentences. The house has a modern kitchen. Okay, so... The house is La Casa. Casa. Has. Is. Has was Tiana, right? Or was it Hai? What was the previous sentence we had just now? What did Hai mean in that previous sentence? I think Tiana was Has, right? Tiana. Tiana. Una. Una. Cocina Moderna. Cocina. Moderna. Alright, good. La casa tiene una cocina... La casa tiene una cocina moderna. And everything is grammatically feminine in that sentence. Interesting. The cell phones are on the bookcase. Okay. Los celulares... Los celulares. Ah, están... Están. Uh... Los celulares están on the bookcase. Okay, I'm assuming estanteria is just another form of esta. And la is the. So it's either going to be debajo la sobre or sobre la debajo. 
What would be the most likely to be book kiss? What would be the most likely to be on? I'm gonna guess this. So, la, debajo. What? Oh, come on, you could totally see my logic there, right? Estan and... Estan and Estanteria? How was I to know Estanteria was the bookcase? Bah! Anyway. Bah. Bah, humbug to it all. I like my new kitchen a lot, so... And me gusta. Gusta. Wait, no, gusta is a lot, right? No, mucho is... Mucho is a lot. Me gusta, gusta. is like... Me... Mm. Cocina nueva. Cocina nueva. Mucho. Mucho. Okay, good. Me gusta mi cocina nueva mucho. Good. Yay! I went up by a whole 0 0.4. I got exactly 1 out of 5. Yay! Alright, good. Um, no, thank you. Um, but I will, however, bring my phone charger closer to me so that I can continue to lay on my bed. Hold on, yeah? Alright. Thank you. Alright, so. Um, yeah. By the way, do as I say, not as I do in the regard of charge using your phone and charging it at the same time. Basically, don't be stupid like me. Don't use your phone while it's charging. I just didn't pay attention to the battery power while it's streaming, but it's it's all good. This is a good phone and a good charger, so I have faith in in this predicament. I think I can bring my charger even closer than that. Bear with me. Like, it's a new charge. Like, it's quite a long-ish charger, but I don't want to overstretch it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we are not stretching the charger that much. Is the chat saying anything right now? Okay, um... I used to learn Spanish and French. This is still great, Waluigi, by the way. Uh, thank you for being such a loyal viewer in my streams, by the way. I used to learn Spanish and French back at school, but since then I can't remember any of it, so watching this does help in a way. I slightly remember some Welsh, but I'm rusty with it at the moment. Oh, dude, that's awesome! I'm glad that I could help you. Uh, I didn't think many people would be interested in this, because I'm just being a nerd, but I guess... I guess that it has reached out to you, that is very... Good. Also, I have prepared some Welsh for you, Lyrical, via Google Translate. I don't know any Welsh, except for, like, a f literally a few words. But, you know what? Go ahead for it. Uh, go ahead with it. Also, hey, it's a Tails question, as he's asking for the perfect moment of... Hey, it's a Tails question, as he's asking for the perfect amount of French fries, because hashtag Tails X fries continues. Ah, see. Si. Yo, um... What was like again? What, what was like? Gusta. Uh, okay, so let me try this. <clears throat> yo gusto. Uh, yo gusto patatas fritas mucho. I think that was right. Let me, uh, let me, let me just quickly check I said that right. Um, I like fries a, a lot. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was, uh, close. I was close. How do I say it? Huh? I love fries. Okay. <clears throat> me, me and Canton, oh my god, I can't talk. Me and Canton, las papas fritas. Yay! The ship continues. Thank you, Great Waluigi, for the great reference there. You are a good fellow. <laughs> Alright. That's enough of Spanish. On to German. Which I actually know a lot more of. German will be my probably be my best bet, but I'm going in order of just like how I learn the languages in a week. Um I could have saved the easiest one for last, but 
let's just not. <laughs> Alright, so this is theoretically going to be my easiest one. Uh, as you can see, I have taken a progress quiz. I actually got 3.7 out of 5. And the reason it is that high is because I have actually been learning German for 11 years now. And um, I'm still not perfect at it. It's it, like I st it's more just of a confidence thing, basically. And um, now and then I'll just forget odd words. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. I think my allergies are playing up. Please bear with me for un momento. Um, uh, give me a second. Mm -hmm. All right. Danke schön für Ihre Geduld. Uh, meant, um, thank you very much for your patience. I'm pretty sure there's only one person watching right now, but I used the plural of you anyway, just in case there is anyone else watching. Um, actually, I'm, I don't even think I said that right. It might have been Oire Gudut? Question mark? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Oira. Ia is just the pronoun itself. Or it is the, pos the possessive pronoun. Yeah, hold on. Thank you very much for... Heck, your patience. Okay, maybe it was Ia then. Maybe... Okay, so what would Oira be then? Also the same thing apparently. Okay. It's, again, it's just gr grammar. Like, I'm just over, maybe I'm just overlooking it. But, um, yeah, that's mainly my thing with German. Sometimes I'll just overthink the grammar. And sometimes I'm just not confident enough to speak, like, f really smoothly. But apart from that, I'm pretty solid with it. It is mainly just the confidence thing, which is why I, af even after 11 years, after doing a GCSE and an A-level in it, I'm still learning it actively today because I want to... I want to keep on top of things. I want to... I want to like always keep my mind sharp and and smooth so I can like interact like a normal person <laughs> in other languages um so yeah I did a quiz five days ago got 3.7 and to unlock orange I need to do 0 0.3 higher I mean a five would just be absolutely amazing don't I'm gonna get it, but I'll keep practicing and practicing. So uh, the university prep school is private. So das Gymnasium. Gymnasium is ist privat. Privat. And that is one of those like f what's called a false friend word. Gymnasium does not mean gymnasium. It actually means a university prep school. Um. Though I think you can also win a grammar school, I could be wrong. I have a radio and a computer. Okay, that's that's simple stuff. Ich habe. Alright, which one is masculine, which one's neutral? Das radio, das computer. I think it's das radio and der computer, I think. So ich habe ein radio und... und. Einen einen computer. computer. It's either ein radio or einen radio. Okay, I was right. I thought it was. You have to learn English every day. Du, du must. must. English. English. Why did it switch from... Hold on. Did you hear that? Did that switch from male to female voice? Du. Okay, no, it didn't. I'm just imagining things. Must. Du must... Now, this is a matter of remembering 
if every day comes first or if English comes first. I think it's, I think it actually, I think time comes first. Jeden you must jeden Tag, Tag English e learn. lernen. Oh, maybe it's not actually. Because I remember in German there is a very specific order when it comes to these things. Du musst jeden Tag Englisch lernen. Which one sounds more natural? Du musst Englisch, Englisch. Jeden, jeden Tag lernen. Lernen. Because learning goes at the end, because that's just how German works. Du musst Englisch lernen. It might be that. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I corrected myself, because I wasn't sure which order it came in. Nein, sie lernt Englisch. Nein, sie lernt English. Wait, did it ask me for the translation or the hearing? Okay. Nein, sie... Actually, I don't think this any of the sound tests uh, translate. I think they're always... Type what you hear. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Nein, sie lernt English. Okay, good. Would you rather be a dolphin or an owl? Do you, are you trying to catch me out here? Because I know you're an owl. <laughs> okay, would you rather? How do you say would you rather in German? I can't actually remember how you say would you rather. Okay. This is the final time I will cheat, I promise. Okay. Would... You rather. Werde es dir lieber. Werde. Okay. Werde es dir lieber. Werde. Not werde. Werde. But Liebe is... Would Liebe go to the end of the sentence? I've never... See, this is a pretty straightforward sentence, but I've never had to ask, would you rather be in German? Which is why I don't know. Like, I have heard, like, es wäre. Like, I've heard would and stuff like that, but I've never come across this specific use of language. Werde es dir... I can't actually remember what dolphin is either. I'm not going to look up the whole sentence because that is just cheating. I'm just going to... Okay, delphine. Der delphine. So it would be ein delphine. An owl, I'm pretty sure, is... Yeah, the Euler. So ein delphine... Ein Euler. So, better es dir... I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure Lieber would go at the end. Okay, better es dir ein Delfin oder ein Euler. Lieber. Oh, wait. Sein. To be. Nearly forgot that. No, Liebe would be after... Ah. Uh. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, yeah. I put Werde S. It's Vers Du. Google Translate, you lied to me. I put Would You Rather. And you said... That. And that's not even right. <laughs> Well, that just goes to show you can't always rely on Google Translate. I should have known it would be... Yeah, du wirst is you would. Lieber is... Lieber actually means prefer. Wärst du lieber ein Delfin oder eine Eule? 
Okay, apparently it doesn't require Zine. See, that to me just says, would you prefer a dolphin or an owl? But, I don't know, maybe I'm just not practiced enough. Okay, the theory is helpful because it can spot the practice. So, the theory, theory is, is hilfreich. hilfreich. Okay, so, because, vile is because, and because is one of those words that sends a verb to the end. See, I keep forgetting that you don't always send the verb to the end, it's only in specific situations, which is why I put Lieber at the end when I didn't need to, whereas with vile, it absolutely goes to the end. Um, so, can would be the last word. So, vile, because it can support the practice. So it would be... Well, unterstützen is... Well, unterstützen is the main verb. And can isn't... Well, can isn't a verb. Can is... um. I can't remember what that type of word is called either. But I know it would be unterstützen can. Um, so, weil Z, I guess Z is being used as it. Because the theory is feminine and it's saying she is in like the theory. The same way it was, is with boats, I guess, in the English language sometimes. Like, ain't she a beauty? Anyway, I'm, I'm like seriously digressing. The theory is hilfreich, weil sie die Praxis, Praxis. unterstützen Unter kann. kann. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Er ist nicht dick, sondern dünn. Er ist nicht something, sondern, which means but, dünn. I think that said. Er ist nicht dick, sondern dünn. Stick? That's what that sounded like. Okay, so Zonden means but, but it means but more in the kind of rather way. Because Arba is but, like, if you said, like, but I prefer this. Whereas Zonden means but as in rather. So what it's saying is, he's not this, but he's that. So, like, he's not this, rather that. Dun, I think, means... Thin? Maybe? Can't remember. Er ist nicht dick, sondern yeah. dünn. Dick, which means fat. No, it's not that word before you even think that. Um, yeah, so it's saying he's not fat, rather he's thin. Er ist nicht dick, sondern dünn. Yeah, he's not fat, but thin. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, th see, this is the thing, like, sometimes it, I just don't process audio properly. Like, I heard stick. So I heard a st, not a d. But when I slowed it down, then I could hear the d. So it would not be possible to do it oneself. Like, by yourself, so... Es vera, yeah, it would... I got deceived by Google Translate. I'm not going to be deceived again. That was a really stupid oversight, though. I should have known it was do, because do is you. That is really basic, but... It, again, it's just because I overthought it. This is the problem I have sometimes. Es vera... Es vera nicht möglich... Okay, so it will definitely be as wäre nicht möglich. Es es selbst tun tun. Because I feel like that I know what all those words mean individually. Again, it's just a matter of word order. Okay, good. Es wäre nicht möglich, es selbst tun. It would not possible 
by yourself to be. Yeah, that's just how German works. It sounds quite Yoda-ish sometimes, but I'm like I've been learning it for eleven years, so I'm kind of used to it now. It's just um like I immediately think, oh yeah, this goes at the end rather than like where it would usually go in English. So um, it really depends. The check, please. Okay, so we've got a we got a bunch of nouns here. Salon is number, so it's not that. Betrag means I vaguely remember what it means. I can't remember what the actual English word is. I know what it means, but I can't remember what the English word is now. I feel like it would be Actually, you know what it might be, Betrag. Maybe I think I'm thinking of something else. I think it might be Betrag. Be Betrag bitter? Bitter. No, it was direct non better. Never mind. Okay, I can't remember. Okay, maybe it is the thing I'm thinking of then. What does betrag mean again? I forget the English word. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Amount. And like I was thinking, it's like a number of something, but I can't remember what that would be said like in English. And it's amount. That's the word I was thinking of. That was just a word blank, to be honest. Without you, we would not be here today. Okay, so without is honor. Honor. Honor dich. Dich. Werden. Werden. Wir. Wir. Alright, so honor dich werden wir. Nicht hier heute? Nicht. Hier. Heute. What? Werden wir heute nicht hier? Okay, so. Oh, yeah, because time comes. Yeah, time comes before place. That was. Yeah. That's another simple thing that I forgot. Time come. Time words come before place words. Heute means like. Heute means today. Here obviously means here. Today would come before here. It wouldn't in English, but it would in German. So it, literally it says, without you, would we today not be here? Like, again, sounds very Yordish when it translates in English, but I'm I'm used to that now. I just, like, I forgot that Heute would come first. That, that was a simple mistake on my part. There will be rain tomorrow anyway. Außerdem. Außerdem. Wird. Es. Es. Regen. Regen. Wait, no. Morgen Mor Regen. Regen. What? Geben? Oh, yeah, because it says Regen in a noun form. I... I didn't realize that was capitalized like if that wasn't capitalized it would literally just say tomorrow it will rain but uh, yeah the english says there will be rain tomorrow i forgot that it i thought it i translated it the way i've just translated it is it will rain tomorrow basically um but even then i wouldn't have translated that right i don't think yeah, that was just a translation error, my bad. I'm not doing my total best, but I'm trying. And I'm still having fun, that's all that matters. And I hope that if anyone's watching, the, the, uh, that you're having fun as well. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, we got a few comments here. I'll get back to them in a moment. Once I've finished the... Once I have finished this test, I will get back to those comments. He will watch out for you daily. Er wird. Er wird. Um, Achten doesn't even go in that sentence, because that means it. Er wird. Auf. Auf euch, euch. täglich erhöhen. 
I would be would Teglich go first? Ever Teglich? No, it wouldn't. Uh, I don't think. Ahuen. Wait, oich Teglich Ahuen. Ahuen. Okay, no Teglich would come first again. Time comes first, but oich isn't place. Oich is a person. Um. Yeah, er wird täglich auf euch achten. What? But achten means eight. What? Well, no, acht means eight. But adding en must make it a completely different word. So what's er hören then? I was, uh, my logic there was just like, well, that's the only verb I can see. So that must be what take care of is. But apparently not. Achten. Okay, fair enough. So what's a hun then? Increase. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> he will <laughs> increase you every day, but not even said correctly. Well, I completely messed dich. that up, but never mind. Anyway, what? Sie verändern dich. Sie verendet. Ich did that say? No, it can't have been because maybe she said mich. Sie verändern dich. Ah, verändern dich. Right, gotcha. So they. Come on, what verändern means, but they something you. Sie verändern dich. They change you. Ah, yes. Okay, that wasn't too far off what I was thinking, because I was like, doesn't forender mean edit? But that doesn't make sense. But yeah, it works for change as well, so see for end and dich. Thank you for your recommendation. Okay. Um, danke für ihre... Okay, so it's either going to be Nutzen, Gebrauch, Weise or Empfehlung. Gebrauch means need. Nutzen is... Okay, so a, a gebrauch is a need. A nutzen is a use. I can't what a vise is, but I don't think it's that. I think it's an empfehlung. Empfehlung. Or maybe it is vise. Hmm. Empfehlung. I'm going to go with that. Empfehlung. Okay, I was right. Danke für Ihre Empfehlung. Diese Empfehlung ist von unserer Lehrerin. I only heard the first and last bit of the sentences, but I think that said this recommendation is for our teacher. Or is from our teacher, maybe. Diese Empfehlung ist von unserer Lehrerin. Oh yeah, I didn't type that properly because my hand started cramping. So I ended up doing a bunch of typos. Because I was type trying to type fast and my hand just cramped out. Uh, Diese Empfehlung ist von unserer Lehrerin. Alright, yeah, I understood all those words very clearly. Diese Empfehlung ist von unserer Lehrerin, which means this this recommendation is from our female teacher. Diese Empfehlung ist von unserer Lehrerin. What? That's what it, that's exactly what I typed. Oh wait, no, I missed Oh, I missed the R of Unzara. You're seriously gonna dick me over for one letter? Seriously, I was one letter off? Dude, come on! I mean I know why it has an R on the end. Because it's from the teacher, which Initiates a dative case, um, which adds an R on the end. Ugh. I just went off what I heard, and I should have went off what I know. I should have thought, oh yeah, this is dative case. You know what? It's fine. It's not some. I'm not going to beat myself up over one letter. That's just silly. You are changing me as well. Z, for end on. Why is mich capitalized? Mich auch. Why have they capitalized mich? That's so weird. Yay! 
okay. I'm I'm happy now. Uh, I've 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 unlocked all the tears. So I'm I'm actually really happy about that. I can't believe that dicked me over for one letter. I know why it did that, but I still I'm in shock. That was so horrible. Um I mean the tests are a lot more difficult than the lessons. So don't look at these tests and think, oh my god, this is going to be so difficult. Because for one, the tests aren't even mandatory anyway. It's just a feature with Duolingo Plus. Which my subscription for it runs out tomorrow anyway. So like, don't look at this and be like, put off Duolingo. The lessons are super easy to follow and they are super fun. But I recommend if you are going to get Duolingo Plus and do tests on it... I would recommend probably do at least, hold on, give me one second, so, castle one, castle two, how many castles are there, three, four, five, six, my god, there's a lot of castles, seven, eight, okay, so I would recommend do maybe three or four castles first. But obviously, the more castles you do, the harder the test is going to get anyway, so... I don't know. Think of that what you will. Um. Anyway, yeah. So... I got... A, a one point... Was it a 1.2 input? Hold on. Okay, we've done Polish, Spanish, and German so far. So the Polish, I got, whoa, hold on. Oh, also another thing as well, the tests don't give you XP. The lessons give you XP. Okay, so yeah, I got 1.2, a 1.2 score blue ribbon in Polish. <sighs> Wrong thing again. Uh, a a 1.0 blue ribbon in Spanish. And now my newest high score is a 4.1 orange ribbon and then it's uh, i can guarantee you it's ju it's just gonna go downhill from here because these are my lesser learned languages <laughs> so um i apologize profusely for all the language i'm going to mess up but i will try my best <laughs> all right we got two blue ribbons and an orange ribbon so i'm happy with that Alright, so next is Swedish. I've literally only completed three lessons in Swedish. So this is going to be hilarious. And I'm just going to hope it's because I'm only in the first castle that it's going to be relatively easy. Okay, this woman speaks Swedish. Okay, so... Uh, sorry, the woman speaks Swedish. So, Kvinna. This is another, uh, Swedish is another language you don't have to particularly worry about the articles for either, most of the time. I see, I've typed the woman drinks water a lot as well, so it's remembered kvinna drikken vatten. But that's not what we want. We want kvinna, what's the word for speaks again? I forgot how to say speaks. Svenska. Tala Svenska. Right. I love a woman. Oh, that's so wholesome. I'm, I'm happy for you, Duo. I'm happy that you love this woman. Okay, so it would be Jag. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Elskar is love. In Kvinna. Ja. Älskar. En kvinna. Yes, I was right. She does not speak English. So she is hon. See, it's another thing as well, like learning seven languages, you have to think, you have to like switch brain mode sometimes. So like, sometimes you can be learning a language, but your brain's still stuck in a different language. So... Uh, which is exactly why the Zon thing happened in Spanish. I was, like, thinking of French. Um, but that's why 
You see, I love learning languages, which is why I learned so many of them. But that's why I only like to learn one a day, so my brain can be engaged in a specific mode of in a specific language on each day. And then, because it's the same each day, each week, my brain will be able to prepare itself. So it's like, okay, Monday, let's go into Polish brain. Friday, let's go into French brain. Wednesday, let's go into German brain. So that's the way I do it. So, hon talar. I think it's nie. Angielsku. Oh, in sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what? I literally just demonstrated why I um don't learn multiple. This is exactly why I don't learn multiple languages in a day, because I just explained the whole thinking in different languages, and I literally just did that very same concept I just explained. Nie isn't Swedish. Nie is Polish. So that's actually hilarious that I just described the concept and immediately demonstrated it by accident. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, even even Angielsku. Angielsku is Polish as well. So I just typed half a Swedish sentence and half a Polish sentence. Oh my goodness. Well, I, t I technically typed it right. If there was a fusion of Swedish and Polish. Um, yeah. So the fact I'm doing seven languages in one stream is... Well, that demonstrates why I don't do that. But I thought, you know what? I'll just do this for fun. It's fine. You know what? I'm actually going to like try the quiz again. I'm going to start it again. Okay, Bren, you need to switch to Swedish mode. Yes. Sweden, 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 Sweden. Sweden. Okay. Hon ett han. Hon ett han. Oh no, it's och han. It is a. Ah, okay, last time I'm starting again. En man dricker vatten. Okay, I'm sorry. That was just being completely stupid. <laughs> en man dricker vatten. A uh, man is drinking water. Yay! Okay, good start. What? Okay, I'm guessing hunden is dog because der hund is dog in German, so the dog does not eat apples. You're seriously going to dick me over for not including the you Jag är en flicka. fool. <laughs> Okay, last time I promised. She eats an apple. Okay. Hon äter ett äpple. Ett äpple. Okay, I'm sorry. I promise I'll just stick to it in one go this time. The boy eats the apples. Pojken äter äpplena. There we go. The boys are writing letters. Pojkarna skriver See, translating from English to a different language, I sometimes find easier, depending on the language, because some languages, like Swedish, say it in a much simpler way. She works as an interpreter between Swedish and English. Oh my god. Okay, so Han. Okay, this is a good thing. That I'm thinking in German because Arbeiten, Arbeiten is to work in German, so Arbeiter must mean to work in Swedish. Okay, as I would imagine is Zom. Som. Som. Interpreter. What is interpreter? Um... It's it's either gonna be melon or tulk. Do I cheat? Do I not cheat? 
I'm going to half cheat. I'm going to Google one of those words and... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm terrible. <laughs> Alright, where's Swedish? No, there's a swear. Oh, thank you. Alright, so what's melon? Oh, so melon must mean between. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Hon abita som tolk. Tolk. Melan. Melan. Svenska. Svenska. Och. Engelska. Engelska. Yay! Alright. That technically wasn't cheating. I only googled one of those words. <laughs> but yeah, s sometimes knowing different languages can be very helpful, as you just saw, because. If I didn't know that Arbeiten was the German word for work, then I'd be like, what the heck does that mean? Okay, so the twins are very different. Tvillingarna. Tvillingarna. Er. Er. Sorry, er. Okay, I was thinking too much German there. The, the, the accent doesn't make it an er sound like in German. Er. Um, what's very? How do you say very? I'm gonna guess veldig, uh, sorry, valdigd is different. But what's very? Vanligt. Väldigt. Okay. I'll give you that one. I just guess. <laughs> Why are you working as an author? Come on, I've not learned any of these, literally none of these words. Why are you working as an author? What's why? Okay, so we know that Abadad is work. I mean, you know what? I genuinely don't know any of those words individually in Swedish except for you and R. Varfurd. Vafor abata do some for fatare. Okay, so vafor means what for, like for what reason? Again, because I know German. Um, abata do some for. You know what? Yeah, that's just a simple sentence, but I don't. I've never learned any of those words. How would you supposed to know hon? that? Sorry, what? Hur sjunger hon? Hur sjunger hon? Hull? Hur sjunger hon? Fånger? Fånger hon? What? Hur sjunger hon? That? That! What? That sounded nothing like a, an S or a J. What? Hur sjunger hon? Okay. I want to say that's my audio processing disorder, but I'm not the only one that hears an F sound, right? Hur sjunger hon? Hur sjunger hon? Hur sjunger hon? I mean, I can... I can Sl very slightly hear it but Jesus how was I supposed to how was I supposed to know that how is it going okay so we know that how is her we now know that is I want to say it's S but I might be thinking of a different of different languages S it no no that's not mm. it is ah uh. uh, I don't know how to say okay I don't know how to say is or it or going heard god that okay this is gonna be a terrible score I'm sorry he is wearing a white sweater okay. So, han. Han. Tröja. 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 Because that reminds me of Traga, which again is German for 
far too rare. Uh, see, a lot of Swedish I can guess with my knowledge of German because, like, they're both quite similar. Like, it's not going to be Svart because that sounds like Schwarz, which means black. Wit does sound like white a little bit. But there's, like, different versions of Wit. So I'm guessing this is questioning whether I know what gender a sweater is. Yeah, that's an actual thing you have to think about in languages. It's it's bizarre. But, um... N... 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 Well, because it's N, that must mean it's masculine, right? But I don't know what it, the masculine version of it is. So... Vita is probably feminine. I guess... Vit. Vit. I'm gonna guess that, actually. Actually, you know what? No, maybe Svart is sweater. Svart? A Svart, even. Yeah, it might be, it might be that. What? That's not even remotely close. What the frick? Han had en vit... Tröja pasik? Pasik? What? Han had en vit tröja pasik. What? What? How was I remotely meant to know any of that? It is the cat's food. Okay. So, det. De. Oh, sorry. De. Ad. Kittens. Kittens. What would be food? It's not katernas, because that just... That sounds like the plural form of cats. Kvinnens is... Is... Woman's. So it's going to be matoflikonas. Yeah. Kittens... Mat? Mat. Mat? That is exactly what I put. What? Oh, no. Okay. No, you're right. No, it is Katernas. Okay. I was literally like, hold on. Isn't that exactly what I put? Okay. Never mind. I have an orange. Okay. This is a simple, uh, a very simple thing. Okay. Ja. Ja. Hard. Hard. Sorry. Hard. En. En. Appelsin. Appelsin. Yay! I finally got a right answer. <laughs> the dog. Oh no! What? Why are the dogs eating the cats? Oh no! <laughs> that makes me upset. Hundarna. Äter. Katterna. I mean, that's the only answers it could have been, but Jesus. Why are they eating the cats? Also, fun fact, like, I guess in Swedish, when it's animals eating, it still uses eter, which is fair enough. That's nice and simple. But in German, oh no, essen becomes fressen. So when it is a human eating, it is essen. But when it is an animal eating another animal, like, uh, like I think if it's eating something like grass, it's still essen. Though I could be wrong, I'd have to actually look into that. But mainly when it is an animal eating, it is fressen. I'm pretty sure that is exclusively when an animal is eating another animal, though. Um, don't ask me why. That just is the way it is. But um, I guess that does not apply to Swedish. So that is quite a relief. We eat our lunch. Okay, so V. V. Third. What would be our? What would be our? Min is probably mine. Hans is probably his. Mit is probably with. Lunch is probably lunch. I want to guess it's Vod. Vod. Because V, Vod. Oh no! No! Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to add lunch on the end. I was literally going to type that. Oh my god, you all saw that, right? 
No. Oh, no. I, I want to start again just for that because that was so stupid. But I'm not going to start again now. That's not when I'm this far in. I'm so upset by that because I knew the answer. I was in the process of typing it. I just, like, I went to tap lunch and I didn't. Oh, why did I do that? They are Captain Asmat. Well, I mean, I got the answer. I know that the answer was right. I knew what the answer was. Q order doesn't have to believe me. I'll validate my own answer. <laughs> v at the... Vo... V at the word lunch. There you go. They are Captain Asmat. They are Captain Asmat. Yeah, that. It is the cat's food. The boy does not eat the rice. Pojken äter inte riset. I was just straightforward. What would be a skirt? It's not Troya. Yaka must surely mean jacket. I guess. It's en kjol. Yeah? Alright, I'll be down in a minute. Okay, I was right. Good. You aren't wearing my sweater. Alright, so I'm going to have to end this stream after this test, but I will stream the other half of the tests. Like, uh, at another time. Uh, you aren't wearing my sweater. Du. Where? Har. Min. Jacka. Tröja. Mm -hmm. På Was tröja. Was something like that? Never mind. Just never mind. Men like clues. Men. What? Why does it need the om? I mean, at least I knew Kleda was close, because Kleda, Kleida. Again, German is very helpful. They eat the food. Dom. Äter. The food. Maten. Yay! She likes the sweater. Tycker. Om. Om. What was sweater again? Is that one? Yeah. Uh, fair enough, at least it took it as a correct answer. Ah! I'm sorry, I clicked it twice. I didn't get to s hear it go boom boom! Oh well, that's better than I thought it was going to be. I somehow got a 1.2. That's pretty miraculous, actually. <laughs> Alright then, well, my dinner has arrived. So, I shall do another stream tomorrow. Where I will learn. Well, tomorrow would usually be my Swedish day, so I will... I will retake the Swedish test and then we'll do French, Italian and and Japanese. Uh, Cause like seven doesn't have like a nice neat little halfway point. So if I just retake the Swedish test, then it will have a nice little halfway point. Um, because Polish, Spanish, German, Swedish, that's four tests we've done today. And then Swedish, French, Italian, Japanese, that's another four tests. That we'll do tomorrow. So it'll be a nice round median. I, yeah, I think that sounds good. But um, yeah, I am going to unplug my phone so that it does not explode. <laughs> and I am going to go downstairs. Well, I'm going to end the stream and then I'm going to go downstairs and have my dinner. But thank you so much for watching this. I did not actually expect this to get any viewers at all. Um, but before I go, let me check those comments I promised that I would check before. So I'm really sorry. 
Hello, little comedian 9608. Rude and definito. I'm pretty sure double D is the. Theo. Google Translate y Helpu y Siarad Kumrek. And here is the English translation of it. Hello, Lyrical Miracle 9608. I'm using Google Translate to help speak Welsh. I mean, I kind of figured that's what it meant anyway. Because of it saying y Helpu y Siarad Kumrek. Though I most definitely said that wrong, and I'm sorry. But thank you. That was, that was, that was a very nice message. Would I rather be a dolphin or an owl? Neither, because I'm a rabbit with robotic parts all over, apart from my tail and whole head. So Bunny Rabo got it easy with the roboticizer. Oh, great. Agreed. I heard stick as well. Yeah, um, I'm glad I replayed that, because that's a simple word. I just didn't hear it correctly. Yes, give me a minute. I'm just wrapping things up. Um... All right, so my parents are losing a little bit of patience now, so uh -huh. I'm going to have to really wrap things up. Um, even though I just said I would anyway, but yeah. Also, so far, I'm the only one watching while there are two likes on the stream. So the second person came, liked, and left without a word, and I see Tails making a cloning machine for his fries. Interesting. Well, thank you for your flying visit, second person. Was that a pun lyrical? Maybe. I approve of this pun, because I fly. Also, you saw nothing. You saw no cloning machine. Or did you? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> and also, thank you very much for your congratulations on me reaching 4.1. I was quite proud of that. Definitely a stream highlight. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm gonna head off now. Uh, thank you for joining me on this nice Duolingo journey, and I will see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen!